Hello, this is Bob Langies from Medlin Communications and today we're going to go over the setup of the Elastix Call Center with uh, version 1.5. Uh, we're going to go through the different steps and you want to follow these pretty much in order to make sure that you have uh, some success here until you really know what you're doing with it. Uh, but the basic tasks that we're going to cover, we're going to define an agent, we're going to build a queue, we're going to build the CSV file, which is the, uh, basically a list of telephone numbers and names. We're going to put together a form. Uh, we are going to show you what steps you need to configure it to work with Asterisk. And then we'll kind of combine those steps into building a campaign. And then we'll uh, build an agent uh, user so you can see how they log in. And then we'll log in and make some calls. Uh, also at the end, I'm showing a little bit uh, of the reporting capability that's built in. Uh, but overall, what you want to consider with this product, uh, that the Elastix Call Center is a free add to the Elastix system. It's built right in, and uh, it serves a lot of purposes. It's a good reason to buy a system if you need a basic call center, because it is uh, inexpensive. Uh, and it's a great starting point. So if you find that this product doesn't do it for you, and you need more uh, extensive call center abilities, uh, you certainly could uh, use everything you have and upgrade to a full-blown uh, call center package as well. So let's have a look. creating a new agent. Click on Call Center, click on Agents, click on New Agents, give the agent an agent number which is different than their extension. Uh, it doesn't have to be different but this number does not relate to an extension directly. Give them a name and then assign them a password as well. And then we just click Save and we've created an agent. The next step here is to define a queue. So we want to go to PBX and we want to go down to queues and we want to add a queue. So let's give it a queue number. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it outbound because I'm going to make this for outbound calls. Outbound. And then basically we assign agents. Now this is, uh, you have to type in the agent you want. And my agent number is 2100. So I need to type this as capital A. 2100 comma 0 and it's a little confusing because you notice nothing like that appears in the quick pick here uh, but this is how it needs to be formatted my agent number was 2100 so I typed in a 2100 comma 0 I don't have to change anything else in this configuration here I just click submit changes and I apply the changes and I have my queue built building our CSV files very straightforward what we need no header row. We need the full phone number as it can be dialed from your phone system. And then if you want to feed your agent some additional information, you can. This first column here will display in the top part of the agent console. And then any subsequent columns are going to display in the body of the agent console. So just like a number, just like you could dial it, I have a dial plan entry so that I could dial 1-630-670-3316 directly. Uh, a name that you want to pop up and when you save the file just make sure you save it in CSV format not in Excel or, or uh, OpenOffice uh, calc format. It needs to be in a CSV format. Creating forms. Click on Call Center, Forms, Create New Form. And we'll do this and there's some, uh, some issues with the interface here. It does work but you do have to click around a little bit. So I'm going to create a form here and call it Customer Info general and then I could work on to see what type of things that I want to collect so for instance if I want the agent to put the date in here I basically give it a name an order in which it'll be in the form and then a type and then I click on add field if I want to have a list of things I could basically give this a name you want to avoid using any types of space you don't want to use space or commas in any of these because uh, that doesn't work so well in a database environment so if you do need to space something out use uh, an underscore or a dash I'll give this an order and then I basically am going to give this some items so in our case maybe we got cabling Maybe we've got phone services. Maybe we've got asterisk phone. 
system so you get the idea you add some lists there and then you add field let me make one more here maybe just a text area make that number three all right, and once I do that, I save the form, and I've created a form. Other configuration elements. So here we click on Call Center Configuration, and if my Call Center software is running on the same box as my Asterisk server, which it is, and most often will be, you just leave this local host address here, that'll be fine. Your Asterisk login uh, defaults to admin. Your password, uh, the default is Elastics. Four, five, six. If you're having issues, you're able to use these different uh, checkboxes here to have some data captured. Um, and this short call threshold variable here means if you get a call that's less than 10 seconds, it doesn't consider it to be a valid call. So in your environment, if you have some situations, you may want to shorten that. Like I like to make that eight seconds there. And then basically you save it. And if it's stopped, uh, the system won't make any calls. So if you find that you're you log in as an agent later and you get no calls. One of the errors could be that you don't have this running. And that's it for configuring the uh, this portion of the dialer.